Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for tutormatch.com. In this session, we will be covering about leveling the resources. It's a very important tool while you plan as well as you execute the project. Resource leveling. I will explain you what is resource leveling with a very simple example, example which we have seen in the last session. In this example, we have an activity called as footing shuttering, which is of six days where two supervisors are working per day. That is day one, two, two, three, four, five, and six. And from the day three, another activity is starting that is putting reinforcement again for six days. Same two supervisors are working per day. Also, in our company, we can supply maximum of two supervisors per day. In such cases, on day three, what will happen? There will be an over allocation in the project. Means you require two more supervisors to complete the task. When you go into the software, program will display this graph showing the red color bar that indicate over location on day 3, day 4, 5 and 6. In software, when you go to resource usage profile option, you can see the same graph in the software as well. Here is the graph. So all these things I have explained in my previous video, so please watch that. Now, what is leveling? As I told you, to remove the over allocation in the project is called as leveling. So there are two kinds of leveling, one is automatic leveling and another one is manual leveling. Automatic leveling is actually used inside the software using some software options called as leveling options. But this is not practically possible. I won't say completely that it is not practically possible, but most of the time when you level the resources in Primavera program always pushes the activity which end up with increasing the project duration. So actually we don't want to increase our project duration. So from my experience, I won't recommend you to do automatic leveling because uh, it always pushes the project duration to its greatest values. And another leveling technique is manual leveling. There are four manual leveling techniques which are delaying, splitting, stretching and crunching. These techniques has already been described in PIMBOK, Project Management Body of Knowledge. So in this slides, I will explain you how delaying, splitting, stretching, crunching is working. Not in Primavera, just a manual interpretation of these four techniques, which is very practically possible. Let's look at this example. Look at here, there is two activities, one is footing shuttering that's for four days and footing reinforcement again for four days where two supervisors are working or two labor force is working. You can see when it reaches on day three and four you require two more labors in order to finish this task on time. But let's say if your company is having only two labors and your resources manager is not ready to give you more resource supply in such cases what you need to do you can go for an option called as delaying where it's very simple you have to delay activity footing reinforcement for two days so that you can manage your resources so this technique is called as delaying another option is splitting let's say there are two activities one is slab concrete that is of two days and manual excavation which is of four days and in this example, I have set slab concrete as high priority activity inside means you cannot delay this activity. It has to start on its time. So what do you do? You will start the activity, manual excavation on the very first day with two labor forces. And when it reaches on the second day, as you cannot delay slab concrete, these labors will start working here. That means you are literally not working on manual excavation so these two days there is no work and after completing this activity slab concrete the laborers can engage on manual excavation on its third day 
fourth and fifth then you can complete that activity as well so what we have done here is you have splitted manual excavation activity so this process is called as splitting and the next one is stretching look at this example footing shuttering of four days and footing reinforcement of four days and here also you have only two labels that you can engage on this project so what happens on the third day again you need more resources right two more labels are required stretching means it's very simple you are just reducing the labor force and increasing the duration of activity while you stretch what happens here on the first day two labors were working but when it reaches on the third day one labor is working for footing shuttering and another labor is working on footing reinforcement in such cases when labors has decreased automatically the activity duration has increased this is what happened here that means the activity has stretched because the labor force is less this process is called as stretching and the last one is crunching it's very simple and it's exactly opposite to stretching here let's keep in mind you have only one labor force and there are two activities again when it reaches on the third day you require one more labor force crunching means you are just increasing your labor force like previously our labor force was only one but here you are hiring one extra labor for two days so that will decrease the activity duration so at the beginning footing shuttering was on four days but when you increase the labor force into two that means when two people work per day automatically the duration of footing shuttering which is of four days becomes two days sorry this is two days so that without any problem you can solve the overall locations so this is called as crunching crunching is very simple you are just increasing your labor force and decreasing the activity duration these are the four leveling techniques which even described in PIMBOK project management body of knowledge and this technique you can use in Primavera as well but only in the expert series of videos I'll be explaining how to use these four different techniques in Primavera because for advanced uses I don't think this is very important. Now let's open Primavera and see how automatic leveling works in Primavera. So here is Primavera where you can see two activities are that this is very simple example for your better understanding you can try this in your bigger projects no problem here you can see two activities are there one is footing shuttering and footing reinforcement for each activities i have assigned same resource supervisors which is of me which is of its maximum units is two and budgeted units is two that means two supervisors are working per day for six days same activity has been assigned for footing reinforcement as well so when you click resource usage profile you can see this profile saying on its third fourth and fifth day you require two more resources additional resources leveling means to clear this over a location so how do you do there is an option called as leveling options when you click that program will come up with some options so this is the leveling resource window here you can see two things are checked one is preserve scheduled early and late dates and another one is level or resources so these options are already checked by default you can check this option automatically level resources when scheduling if you do that whenever you schedule the project automatically all resources will be leveled this is not a fine option for me so I always check out another one is con consider assignments in other projects with priority equal or higher than five actually you can set project priorities you can see it you can set priority until hundred it really means let's say there are four projects but it's project one two three and four and you can set project priority like project one the priority is four project three the priority is one project four the priority is five like that you can set priorities up to hundred 
So when you do this, when the program level the resources, it will consider the priority. Which is the priority one, program will level it first. And priority is two, program will give second priority for that. So this option is also not wise for me, so I'm going to uncheck it. This is very necessary option. Preserve schedule early late dates. Another one is recalculate assignment cost after leveling. After leveling, if there is any change in cost, the program will recalculate it automatically. So you can check this one. Here is another option called as level all resources. If you check this one, it will level every single resource that you assign to the project. If you uncheck this one and press select resource, you can choose which resource you want to level. So you can check this option and press OK. So the only supervisors will be get leveled. So these are the options in Primover. Actually, I never use this option. Why? Because when you press level, what happens? Program always pushes the duration of activities. Program always pushes the activity so that the duration of the total project will get increased. And you can see the leveling has been done. So this is the problem in Primavera. Not only in Primavera, every program that has no idea about practicality always pushes the activity like this. So what I normally do, I always use these options. Level resource only within activity flow. Let's say when you work with a big project, there will be many activities having flowed. So if program can push the activity which have flowed then it is okay because it's not going to affect on your project total duration so i always play with this option also i love these options in primavera you can just click this one and level it so program will find out which activities got flowed and program will try to push the activity where there is flowed also here there are some options preserve minimum float when leveling like some activities will be having 50 days of float but when you use this option program will consume all the float of that activity but you can preserve some float let's say I want to preserve some 5 days of float you can click here 5 days and another option is maximum percent to over allocate resources is 25% if you want to keep some over location, you can keep the percentage of it. Here it is 25, you can make it 50 or 10, 5, whatever it is. So this option is quite usable options in Primavera. Also, when you level resources, when you're working in real project, you can try this option. It's very interesting. So I'm going to uncheck it. So that's it. The leveling has been done using automatic method. If you don't want to level and level the resource and you want to go back, you can simply click on level resource and you can say default click default and press say yes after that you can level then you can schedule it so the program will come back to its previous position and this is the reason why I told you don't go for automatic leveling options you can always try the manual leveling techniques such as delaying splitting crunching and stretching and I'll explain you how to do these options and how to work these options in Primavera. But not in advanced series, but definitely in expert series. So thanks for watching this session and I really hope you understand how this leveling is working in Primavera. Thank you.